This is lesson number eight in the beginner series, and today we're dealing with the major scale. That's it. lesson number eight in the beginner series. I hope all the previous lessons have been helping. I have been receiving a lot of positive feedback and that's fantastic. So let's get down to business. Today we're dealing with the major scale, but what I want you to do is learn what I'm calling the template. I've talked about this template many times on this channel, but what I want to do today is walk the beginners through the process. Some of you might have heard me talk about this before. We're doing a very simple 2 4, 1 2 4, 1 3 4 pattern on the fingerboard. What does that mean? That means I'm taking a 4 fret span, right, on the fretboard. Today I'm just going to be using the notes of the G major scale. That's it. So if I start with my second finger on the third fret of the E string, that's my G. And then what I do, if I can, is try to get that little finger to play the fifth fret of the E string. That's A. So here's what's happening. When I'm playing, when I'm placing that little finger at the fifth fret, my thumb is kind of behind my first finger. I don't think you'll be able to see that, but uh, it's not going to work. <laughs> but basically what's happening is my thumb is on a bit of a 45 degree angle behind my first finger. So I have a little bit of a grip happening, which allows me to press down using the force, the opposing forces of my thumb and my little finger. A lot of beginners have trouble with using the, the little finger. So I suggest if you have trouble with the scale, just play this. One, two, three, four. Pick any position on the fretboard. If your fingers don't have much of a stretch, then you can go higher. Anywhere on the anywhere on the fingerboard. The point of this exercise is to just get all of the fingers playing four notes, one note each, with the same amount of clarity and tone, right? So start there, and then we'll move on with the scale. Continuing on, here's what we've got so far. We're playing the first note of the G major scale with our second finger, right? And if I'm using that four fret span from the, the second fret to the fifth fret, meaning I've got first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger on the second fret, third fret, fourth fret, and fifth fret of the E string. So now I'm just going to be referring to the fingers that I'm using for each of these notes of the scale. So if I, if I start with my second finger at the third fret of G, then that's going to be two, because it's my second finger. So two, and then I go to four. That's the fourth finger at the fifth fret of the E string. 2, 4, or 2nd finger, little finger, or 4th finger. So if that's 2 and 4, the next string down is going to be 1, 2, and 4. In other words, 1st finger, 2nd finger, little finger. So, so far I've got 2, 4, 1, 2, 4. 2 and 4 on the E string, 1, 2, and 4 on the A string. So that's 3rd fret to 5th fret on the E, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret on the A. And those notes are G, A, B, C, D. So you can use any one of those uh, methods to remember the pattern. So I can go 2, 4, 
one, two, four. Or G, A, B, C, D. Or third fret, fifth fret, second fret, third fret, fifth fret. Any one of those will help you to remember the pattern. Moving on to the next string down, I've got the D string. And on the D string, I'm playing one, three, four, right? So what I've got so far is two, four, one, two, four, one, second fret, three at the fourth fret, four, little finger on the fifth fret. And that's the whole scale, but we're not done. So if you can play that, just play that until it's comfortable. That's all you really need to do. Just practice playing the scale and really making sure all of the notes are even, clear, no buzzing, and sounding beautiful. Now, if you're having trouble with this, then don't worry about playing it in time. What you can do is just like start by playing four notes or four times on each note, just to make sure that you have all of the notes down. This is the beginner's exercise, after all, right? Of the beginner series. So if I isolate these notes and really just try to make them all super clear, there's no rush here. I can take as much time as I want, even if I just want to focus on one note. So let's say that last note with the little finger is giving you trouble. So maybe just practice that last string. So that's one, three, four on the D string. Fifth fret, fourth fret, second fret. Again, you can just work this pattern just to make sure all of the fingers are, are nice and even. Now after doing this for a little while, you might experience some tension in the fingers. Stop stretch, relax, do whatever hand stretching or finger exer finger stretching exercises you might do. Sometimes for me, it's just a matter of like flexing the fingers, right? Stretching, flexing. I don't do too much pushing and pulling on the fingers. I don't know how beneficial that is, but if I can just like spread the fingers out as far as they will go and then make a fist kind of tight, not too tight, and then just go back and forth doing that. And then pick a spot, any spot on the fretboard and just go one, two, three, four. Sometimes this is the most difficult challenge for a lot of the beginners because all of the fingers on the left hand are not at equal strengths. So this lesson, this video, is uh, all in an effort to alleviate that. Take care and make sure that you're getting all of the fingers up to speed. So the pattern for the major scale is two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. Now, that's gonna be a major scale wherever you play it, right? It's just the way it is. So this is a really great sort of template that we can use because if no matter what note we start on, we, once we play that pattern, that is the major scale of that note. So here, I played this note, totally at random. That note is a C sharp or a D flat. So when I play that pattern, that's a D flat major scale, right? Make sense? I hope so. Okay, now let's extend this so that we then include the G string into our pattern. And once we do that, it's very easy because two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four on the D string, and then 
Same thing, one, three, four on the G string. Once you have this pattern down, that's going to be your exercise for the week. That's going to be lesson number eight. All I want you to do is work on getting all of the fingers up to speed. That's it. So the pattern is that. Two, four. One, two, four. One, three, Four, and then the G string is the same. One, three, four. We don't even have to do this ascending and descending yet. We can just focus on the ascending pattern going up the notes. So here we've got G, A, B, C, D, E. The third fret is F and we're skipping the third fret and playing the fourth fret, so that's going to be F sharp. G, A, B, C. So you can name the notes, you can name the fingers, you can name uh, the frets, anything that helps you to get through the exercise. For me, the easiest thing is just to go 2-4, 1-2-4, 1-3-4, 1-3-4. And I'm just going to ask you to work on that. And that is going to be your work for the week. If you are a beginner with this, then I realize that this is going to be a bit of a challenge for you because especially working with that little finger and even the third finger, that's not something you're totally used to. So again, go back to a comfortable area on the fretboard and just play one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You don't have to play it that fast. You can take it at your own pace. But what I really want you to do is focus on getting all four fingers nice and clean. Again, my thumb is placed kind of on a 45 degree angle behind my first finger. If I uh, were a huge channel and could afford a second camera, there'd be a camera behind me that would show you the back view of the fretboard. I apologize. But this is really an exercise, or this is really a lesson that focuses on two things. One, learning the pattern for the major scale, right? Which we've done. The second, and probably the more of the main focus, is to make sure that all four of your fingers are playing at an equal strength, and all of the notes played with each of those fingers is happening at an equal volume, clean and clear, no buzzing, and, you know, you're articulating these notes in the way that you would like. And that, my friends, is that. Lesson number eight for the beginners out there. Hey, if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, all that business. Uh, you can donate via the link that I will provide in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for bringing this channel up to over 100,000 subscribers. I'm still waiting on that silver play button. Hopefully, you'll get here soon. But thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you very soon in the next video. And to you, I say peace.